what's up everyone thanks for returning back to the channel um the lighting will be a bit different because i'm in my room and not in my usual spot for filming but we've got a set of panasonic 6x9s that we'll be installing in my girlfriend's car so sit back and enjoy yeah so these are the ones that she got for the car um just get these opened up kind of bad at unboxing things so excuse the a long process of struggle because I suck it start in general and then you can start off the camera yeah, I suck it so it's nice that it came with extended wires for both and it's nice that they color coded white and black and grey and black for the to right so what else that is nice came with mounting screws and mounting clips um, no, I'm not sure if the other brands come with all of those. And there we go. There's the item. It's a nice little So there's the speaker, the little card that goes on top of it. It's quite a nice little speaker as well. It's not doesn't feel like it's quite cheap because these are actually metal instead of the usual plastic. Yeah, these are all metal instead of like the usual that most of them come with plastic now. Yeah, that's the speaker. Um Gonna be mounting them into this over here. There's the backboard over there. The lighting's probably bad. Uh, that's the backboard over there. Oh, probably a bad idea getting it off. Black item, but yeah, that's the backboard we'll be mounting them on. So let me just figure that out. We exactly need to mount them, and then sit you guys down on the tripod. <laughs> Cut the first hole, but we had a bit of a casualty. Um, it's, yeah, so the carpet knife snapped, and then the blade that snapped off in the actual backboard as I cut the piece that was stuck in the board, uh, it slashed a part of my finger and I finger my my hand. But at least not that bad. It's just like a small surface cut, so I'll just put a plaster on it, and we're just gonna continue. Alright, so there you can still see the carpet knife, <laughs> uh, the piece that broke off, so this piece broke off and then this is the piece that was stuck in and cut me, um, but yeah, got the first old cut, um, I used the templates that they give with the speakers itself, so this should fit perfectly, 
fingers crossed it does fit perfectly. Um, right, I'm gonna put you guys down. But yeah, oh, I didn't even need to put you guys down. There you go, perfect fitment. Right, so we've got those speakers mounted. Um, I had to use the boxes to get a bit more leverage to get them off the actual table itself. But we've got both mounted flush. Um, capping on each side is the same. Measured that out as well. They fit snug in these little grooves, like the small groove section here, fit snug in all in all. Um, yeah, so we've got it all mounted. The cards are mounted as well. That little white tabs that was on the mounts, every one of these everywhere were just to protect the double sided tape. Pull those off, pop these on, and yeah, just need to clean off this here because that dirty the section over there while I was cutting. But there we go, that's the backboard done. Just need to get it mounted in the car and then do wiring. And we're back again. So the camera footage would be a bit shaky as the gimbal's on charge, but got both mounted both are in the car both all the wiring is ran um, can't really see any of the wiring and then all the wiring underneath the panels so I ran all it's only a piece of the wire that you can see but I still need to tuck that in underneath and then the wiring all along the plastic panels on the side and the panel wiring up that panels over there they still need to tuck the wires away and it up there and all the way to the back of the head unit yeah so that is that is basically it um 